When I saw the trailer for this movie, I was so hyped. I did a review about it. I'll, I'll put it here. A review of a fucking trailer. I know. You haven't seen the movie. Why are you doing a review? But I was just so excited. I believe that when I saw the movie, that same feeling would be satiated. It would be transferred onto the actual viewing of the movie. Alas, this movie is, it's a good alien movie. But I feel, at least for me, it's the equivalent of A Force Awakens. A greatest hits montage that didn't hit me as hard as I wanted it to. A beautiful love letter to every single alien movie and video game in the franchise history. A lot of the callbacks and not enough to stand on its own and be a film taking the franchise to a new direction. You know, similar to, you know, whereas Prey, 2022's film Prey, which discussed how a predator interacting with the Comanches, like that was something that you had never seen before, you know, hunter versus hunter, you know. In a different timeline, that was something that we never really seen before. And for Prey to come out and do what it did and be so good in terms of like action, in terms of storytelling, in terms of having providing like even the uh, a version of Comanche, um, a Comanche language version of the film like that, that's going above and beyond for, you know, a sci fi film. But that was really great. That showed respect for not only the, the culture and history of this people, but also like, you know, just adding something new. and. I feel this was a missed opportunity for Alien Romulus. I feel that there was just too many member berries and not enough, not enough substance to see that it could stand on its own as a, its own film. It had to pull back, just like Force Awakens, because I had to remind you of certain things. So um, I honestly wish I could go back in time and put Prey in theaters and Alien Romulus on Hulu or something, but Fuck it. So you might be asking yourself, what is Alien Romulus about? Alien Romulus tells the story of a group of young colonists trying to work and survive in a dying colony rampant with sickness and no hope for future prospects. They become a team of pirates and decide to risk it all by infiltrating a drifting doomed science research station dubbed Romulus to gather resources and equipment to flee their current home for a better tomorrow. The young crew have less than 36 hours to grab what they need, specifically cryo capsules, before the rhyme station collides with a neighboring planet's dust ring. Personalities, pregnancy, xenomorphs, and horror all await the young space pirates. Who will live and who will die? It does not matter, space, because you're in one for a hell of a ride. So, what's good about Alien Romulus? That's another good question. David Johnson. I talked about it before in my trailer, but I really like this young guy. Like he has all the makings of a great movie star, um, a great actor. Uh, I he plays the character Andy, and I don't like I said I want to try to keep it as spoiler free as possible. You kind of get the hint of what he is, um, but he's just richly layered, engaging, and charming. Andy is what makes Alien Romulus work on so many levels. There were some moments when I looked at Andy. And he almost gave off magical Negro vibes to his betrayal. But my assumptions were assuaged when he added even more depth to the role and switched up his whole mood, mannerisms, and speech cadence in the blink of an eye. He grounded the movie and gave it gravitas. I can't wait to see more from this actor in the future. What I also liked about Alien Romans was the look and feel of the film, borrowed from the classic 1979 Alien movie, as well as Aliens, and Alien Resurrection. If you played Alien Isolation, you will see several scenes that call back to that game, which are really great. All right, now to the hmm, bad parts. What I didn't like about Alien Rhymeless, uh, as much as I love them in certain movies, too much of a good thing just ruins the film, and that's kind of where this movie danced a little bit over the line with, with the callbacks. Callbacks to previous movies are great in moderation, like I said, but there were moments that are iconic characters from the franchise said that were not meant to sound cool, but were meant because of the character's development. That it came from the core of that character and why that person was doing what they had to do. And when one character in Alien Romulus said that iconic line from Aliens, from one character that said that iconic line, you'll know the one when you see it. You probably already have it rolling around in your mind. Um, and that person utters that phrase. 
it, I cringed in my seat. I was like, ah, ooh, you, and I said in my head, not out loud, <laughs> but I kept it all inside. I said, you are not supposed to say that. How could you say that? I understand why you said that, but I don't, I don't like that you said it. It's not, that saying was not for you. It almost gave me the feeling where, you know, in Terminator after T2 Judgment Day, every single ancillary other other character kept saying, I'll be back. You know, even, you know, you know, the, the core characters kept saying it. And I was like, can you just please, for, for Christ's sake, stop saying I'll be back. I, I get it. You're 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 linking it back to Arnold. You're linking it back to the first film when he was in a police station. I get it. It's cool. It's great. But it is you're not adding any. It's not entertaining anymore. It's not endearing anymore. It's not cool anymore. You're just saying it just to say it, just to say, oh, they said it, they said it. And that kind of is what Alien Rhymeless is. You're seeing scenes, you're seeing characters say things, you're seeing, you're seeing ideas from other films lovingly crafted, recrafted into this film. And it's just like, it's cool that you did that, but I really wish that you could just let this be for all its flaws, let it be what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. And it, I don't think the, I don't want to assume, but I don't think the filmmaker was fully confident in that. I, I want to have some kind of connected tissue to the past. I, I respect those past films. And I want to kind of say like I, a wink and a nod to, you know, the fans, to the director, to even some of the actors that are still alive. Like, I respect you. I like what you did. Here it is. Remember, remember, you remember. Um. Some things I also didn't like, the special effects were great, but there is one iconic character from the original Aliens. Some of you have already said it, other content creators have already talked about it. Um, I don't want to spoil it for those who, who haven't heard about it, but there's an iconic character from the original Aliens film. And like everything in Hollywood, we have to CGI the fuck out of it. And they did it in a, the most jarring way possible. The, the original actor passed away and they brought him back through CGI and you know, it was a great voice actor that you know imitated that actor's voice original actor's voice but when I saw it I had the same feeling when I saw Luke in the Mandalorian I think it was like season two season three it's like this is not right why couldn't you just get an actor that looked like him why couldn't you could, could, could get Sebastian Stan he looks like Luke, uh, you know, a long, younger Luke they didn't want to do that you could have get you could have got an actor that kind of looked it didn't have to be a hundred percent like the actor it could have been fifty percent like him we would have understood we were not we're not a stupid audience we would have understood but they didn't do that they wanted to CGI this person all of his lines and it just it looked really horrible it looked I, I when you see it you'll know but those things where they took they took a road without doing like practical fets without doing you know, animatronics. There's nothing wrong doing animatronics. It's probably expensive as all get out, but like there's probably somebody out there. There's a talent out there that can do it for you. And I don't understand why Hollywood just does this way of horrible CGI recreations. It doesn't look great. It's not endearing. It doesn't, it took me out of the film when I saw it. I was like, I was, I'm out. I, I can't, I can't focus on anything else. I can't focus on what he's saying because he looks scary. He looks horrible. So yeah. Um, what is the verdict? For me, I wish I just streamed it. Um, I thought, and I hate comparing the two, I thought Prey was a much better love letter to the franchise. I thought it was a more, it was pushing the franchise forward. Even though it was going back in time, it was pushing the franchise forward. I feel that Alien Romulus, from a technical standpoint, it's beautiful. Like the cinematography, the special effects, with there are certain things here and there. Were, were beautiful. And I thought the tale that they were telling of these young people that had just been disenfranchised, just been sold down the river in terms of like their prospects for the future and them trying to fight for what's theirs, what should be theirs. They deserve to be on a planet with sunlight. You know, they deserve an opportunity to at least hope. And right now I, I like that aspect of like these plucky young guy, you know, men and women um, going out there for theirs, you know, for, for their future, for their dream and beating, <laughs> beating that nightmare along the way. But I just felt that with all the callbacks, with all the member barriers, it just kind of pulled down the viewing experience for me. 
And I left the theater like, okay, I, I don't, I don't care for the end credits. I don't care if there's like a special thing for the end credits. I didn't care. It didn't, I wasn't, dis, I wasn't dissatisfied with it. I was just disappointed. I was like, oh, I really hope it was this. And it was something, it was something I've seen before. I've seen this before. I've seen these scenes before. I've seen them done better. Um, and I don't know why we got to keep going back to the nostalgia. Well, it's, it's powerful, but it can also be nauseating. Excuse me. So, yeah. Um, in all aspects, like if I had to compare it in terms of like ranking, um, I would probably put it alien S class, you know, aliens S class, alien resurrection somewhere around a or B aliens three, definitely around B alien Romulus around B Prometheus hovering between B and C AVP, uh, AV, AVP and AVP Requiem around the C D region. Aliens Covenant last, like just utter garbage last. Like I hated, I hated that movie. Like I, I respect Prometheus after multiple viewings, but everything from Covenant was just god awful. Um, except for David. David, he was you know classic, whatever. Um, in short, I hope Betty Alvarez has a chance to direct another film in the franchise. I can see his passion. I can see his love for the franchise, his acumen. Um, he he's fully aware of all the little details, all the little nooks and crannies of each film and what made them kind of pop. But there's, I'm losing him. I'm losing where Fetty should be. I'm seeing all these other directors and all their signatures in these, in the film. And I'm not seeing Fetty in the film. And I want to see Fetty in the film. I know he's really good at doing recreations. He did evil dead, which is really great. He's done alien Romulus, which is a standalone, you know, prequel requel um to you know i think it's in between the original alien and in between aliens and alien so it's kind of like snudged in between those two in terms of like chronologically is what i'm trying to say but i really wish that fetty could kind of show i have a story that i want to tell and i don't want to do too many callbacks you can do maybe one or two and then done just leave it at that and then just go for yours do your own thing and I hope he has another chance is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So yeah. Um, if you like what I had to say, feel free to like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. I really appreciate it. And that's all I got. Cabs out. See ya.